you go to the flea market, you get all the stuff that you want to showcase. Maybe you went to the flea market, maybe it was a garage sale, but now what do you do? Let me show you. I'm Brandy, and this is Making It My Own DIYs. Welcome. So let me show you a little simple vignette that I used to have above my cabinets in my kitchen. We have a crock, and then I have just a tin bucket here with some things on the inside of it, and then I have a jar with some apples in it. Notice that my items are not matchy-matchy. This is not like a collection of all of one thing here. I have a little bit of each of these things distributed throughout my house. So I have this beautiful crock, and I do have more of these. I wanted to show this one here, and I think that the kitchen is a great place to show it. I also have this metal container here. This came from Marshalls a long time ago. And then I have placed some things on the inside. The jar on the side came from Amazon years ago, and then I've just taken some artificial green apples and put those on the inside. The wreath that is in the back there is one that I made myself from vines that were in my yard, and that's easy to do. I just have a kitchen towel here. I like the neutral green color, but you can use whatever matches in your home. And then inside the bucket, I have a cutting board that my brother made for me years ago and a old wine bottle. I have a collection of wooden spoons and that don't pay attention to my ceiling. It's kind of a textured finish. Um, so I have a collection of spoons there and then I have all kinds of elements. In a vignette, you need to bring all types of elements into it. Like I have the fabric from the towel. I have glass from the bottle. I have wood represented there. I have natural with the wreath and possibly the apples if they were real, but you know, they give the idea of being real. They are thrifted, but they're really good quality. So they do look realistic. So you can see here that I have all types of pieces here and but they work so well together and then the colors the dark vines of the wreath match the top of the crock and some of the wood in the board the spoons match some of the wood in the board you see it just the bottle it's glass just like the jar that it is beside it there's green leaves in the wreath also green in the apples if you don't want to do yours exactly like mine, you don't have to. This is just a representation. You could use a white picture there if you wanted to. You could change your cutting board to a solid color or maybe put a piece of artwork in there. You can change your wreath to something that is floral. The wreath for me added some height so you can see that it's a step down from the back to the sides and then the towel brings your eye down even further to the top of the cabinet or the bottom of where this is sitting. So you can see that it keeps your eye busy. The stripes in the cutting board bring some interest to it, then the lettering on the crop as well. These are the things that I look for when I design a vignette. So hopefully this will be helpful to you as well. Be sure to follow me on my social media on Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. I would love it if you would subscribe. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know. I'd be more than happy to provide you with some more instructional ways to use the decor in your home. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.